Hello, this is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Living with the Saints series. In this episode, I would like to feature to you Blessed Imelda Lambertini. So I'm reading this from the NashvilleDominican.org. It says there that uh, Imelda Lambertini was born of a noble family in Bologna, Italy in 1322. So that's seven centuries ago, okay? And uh, her parents raised her to love her Catholic faith and through their influence, she developed a love for prayer, especially for Mass. Imelda asked permission at the age of nine to go to live with the Dominican nuns. So at this distance of centuries and culture, it is not easy to determine precisely what little Imelda's status was at the convent. It seems she was well loved by the sisters who allowed her to wear the Dominican habit, to pray with them, and to follow their way of life to the extent that the little child would be able to do while still remaining a child. Imelda, we are told, longed to be allowed to receive Holy Communion with the nuns. But in that day, such a thing would have been unheard of for a child her age. So her pleading was again and again gently refused with the explanation that she would need to wait until she was older and more prepared. In her private conversation with Jesus, with whom she was developing a deep friendship, we can imagine that she made known often her desire to be allowed to go to communion. So shortly before the Feast of the Ascension, Imelda begged insistently for her to receive her first Holy Communion. So when the chaplain was consulted, he agreed with the sisters and responded with no hesitation that Imelda was much too young. So on the vigil of the Ascension, Imelda was in her place in the chapel, quietly praying as the sisters received Communion. Then Jesus did a little insisting of his own. After Mass, as one of the nuns was clearing the altar, she heard a noise and looked up to the choir to see Imelda, a glowing light shining above her head, with a sacred host suspended in the light. The chaplain was called at once, and he understood that Jesus himself was making his desire known. Let the children come to me, and do not stop them. The priest gave Imelda her first holy communion. So the priors allowed Imelda to remain for some time in Thanksgiving and then sent for her to come and have her breakfast. Imelda was still kneeling as they had left her a smile on her face. Yet when called for, Imelda's body was still. She had died of pure joy. Her Thanksgiving had been well completed and she had nothing left uh, to desire. Okay? So the, the body of Blessed Imelda Lambertini is found uncorrupted in Bologna, Italy, Pope Pius X proclaimed her patron saint of children who are about to make their first communion. So I think the point of the story here is that we need to uh, properly dispose ourselves to receive Jesus and have that intense desire uh, to receive him in communion. And hopefully as we receive communion, we would experience that joy, that happiness of having him in our body. Okay, so let's pray for those who are uh, those children who are uh, preparing to receive their first communion, that they would have the proper disposition, like Blessed Imelda Lambertini, and uh, for them uh, to receive uh, Jesus with so much joy. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you. Mm -hmm.